Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about building versus maintenance. <laughs> I saw a really good quote the other day from Kurt Vonnegut Jr. from the book uh, Hocus Pocus. It was on some quote website. I didn't actually read the book. But it said, another flaw of the human character is that everybody wants to build and nobody wants to do maintenance. Right? And the reason this struck me as funny and the reason it really struck me, I think it, it sat with me, is because as a software developer, I know exactly what this is like. It's much easier to, it's much more fun to create something than it is to maintain something existing. This is the reason why I still have a bunch of apps on the iOS store that are not iOS 11 compatible. And I completely forgot about them. I know I was supposed to have a look at them, but you know they were done a few years older. All, and all I have to do is just recompile them in Xcode or, or Corona SDK, whichever they were done in, and then redeploy them. But I haven't done it because yeah, because it's boring. It's, it's easier to work on the more exciting stuff than the newer stuff. So it's part of this maintenance thing that I have to go back and do. And somebody asked me the other day, how often do you have to update your libraries to make sure they're current? You should do this regularly. You should go through your all, older apps and, and you know recompile them. That way, at least if you're on uh, Google Play, you get the latest versions of Fire you know, Firebase console if you're using that, or you know, or AdMob or whatever, make sure you're current with that. But you know, if you have a lot of apps like I do, maintenance is kind of an issue because I'm more towards building than I am towards maintenance. And it's funny because a lot of the work that we're getting through for Overpass lately is maintenance projects. It's stuff like people, companies are coming to us, they say, we have this app, the, the developer's no longer around, or they just don't want to support it anymore. We're looking for somebody to support the app. You know, will you would you be able to help us? And a lot of times it's just it's just not as much fun. We talk a lot about in software, we talk about greenfield projects and brownfield projects. A greenfield project is from scratch, we're gonna build it. Brownfield is it's already existing, we might make some changes to it, maintain it, do whatever. Right? And greenfield projects are much in a way they're easier. Even though with Brownfield you start off with existing code, a lot of times you're trudging through that code, you don't know where it's gonna going to take you and sometimes it takes longer to understand the existing framework if there even is a framework and it's not just spaghetti code uh, it's, it's harder to understand that framework or it takes longer to understand that framework than it is just to to build something and the danger there is uh, you know, when somebody's doing a greenfield it's just very easy to charge ahead maybe not even adhere to any coding standards just you know just go through it's working and then they hand it off to somebody else and the other person says we have to rewrite this, right? Because it's easier to say we have to rewrite than it is to, to, to build. This is one of the things I think that it's, there's a, I think there's a gap in the market just based on what I've been seeing lately. If you're somebody, if you're a software developer who's just looking for work, I'm sure there, there's loads of companies out there that just, they just want to, they just want to have a new developer look at things. They just want to have somebody to take it over, but it could be a lot more challenging. Right. So, like the quote said, a lot of us are more willing to build than we are to do maintenance. But, on the other side of that, I think it's very easy to fall into the other trap where we're, we're just doing maintenance. We're just getting by. I mean, you probably, we all know people like this. They're getting by. They're getting up. They're going to work. They're paying the bills. They're going home. They're watching TV and they're going to bed. But at some point, we have to build and we have to grow. Right, but it's easier. It's easy to get stuck into that, and this is something that I really am. Like, I'm more interested in working on the new stuff than I am on the existing stuff, and this is why I have this backlog of iOS stuff. You know, and um, you know, it's just just something to think about. What do you guys think? I mean, do you think software developers in general are more biased towards building, or do you think that's just a human flaw that some of us have? Anyway, that's just my thoughts for today. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.